Hi again, this is Magdalena of Shalaki. I'm a certified nutrition coach and a founder of Hormones Balance. So, you're here because of mood, huh? Let me guess what this means to you. It's likely that you're dealing with depression or an onset of depression, loneliness, anxiety, feeling blah on most days, not being too enthusiastic about anything anymore, being maybe socially distant. You're probably dealing with mood swings and bouts of anger. Or it could be that you're feeling even that the smallest thing flips you out and you can't deal with the minor adversities. You might be feeling this way all this time or just before your period. What if I told you that PMS is not a given? I would also guess that this impacts your life in a huge way. When our mood fluctuates and impacts us as much as the people we love and care about, feeling down can have a profound impact on our self-esteem and how we show up as a mom, wife, friend, colleague, boss, or a partner. Have you heard of projecting? You know how we project our own moods and feelings and thoughts and perceptions on other people, and it looks like it's all about them and not us. When we feel depressed, it feels like the whole world is uninspiring and not worth connecting with. When we feel angry, it feels like every person around us is doing something to piss us off. What if I told you that this is not you and you're not your personality? This is not who you are and you're not meant to be. And it's not your fault. You know why? Because it could be your hormones. Yep, you heard me right. It could be your hormones and you can manage them better to stabilize your mood. There are many hormones that can impact your mood. And if you want to find out what they could be, I encourage you to take the hormones balance quiz we develop just down below the page. What you may find out are things that your doctor has never told you. In fact, I won't be surprised if your doctor's only answer is antidepressants and anti-anxiety medication. The reality is they don't really improve the quality of life unless you're clinically depressed. You can't suppress sadness in the brain without also suppressing joy, sex drive, and enthusiasm for life. Now, there are various hormones and neurotransmitters that can impact your brain function, and hence your mood. You know where they are? High and low cortisol levels, and that's due to chronic stress. Low progesterone levels. High or low estrogen levels. High androgens like DHEA and testosterone, which are male hormones. High or low neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, neuroepinephrine. Yes, I know, it's a lot of hormone talk here, and you may have heard of them, but you don't really have to know them. And it's okay, because it's not really your job to understand them. What I want you to know at this point is that hormones are essentially chemical messengers, and they transport signals from one cell to another. Hormones are produced by a number of glands, such as the thyroid, ovaries, pituitary gland, pancreas, adrenals, but also the digestive tract, as much as the body fat tissue. The endocrine system is like this beautiful orchestra. When it plays well, it's all marvelous. We feel energetic, positive, fulfilled, we carry healthy weight. The same as in the orchestra analogy, when one instrument is off, the whole music performance is off, right? Well, our hormones work exactly the same way. Just one imbalance can create havoc in our human body. It's a complex system and I don't plan to go into details at this point, but you can rather easily find out what your imbalance is by looking at the symptoms. This is why we designed a hormones balance quiz. Once you know what's going on, you can start taking action to get your emotional and mental health back on track. Take the quiz to get the results right away. You can also sign up to my website to have these results emailed to you and get the Hormones Balance Starter Kit. The Starter Kit will give you clear solutions on the first steps you can take to address some of your hormonal issues. You will learn about things like making changes in nutrition, lifestyle changes, emotional adjustments. They will help you start feeling happy, enthusiastic about life and fulfilled in your relationships. As a woman, having dealt with high cortisol levels, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is a low thyroid autoimmune condition, estrogen dominance, yet having a full-on advertising career, I know firsthand what it means to face depression and anxiety. And I want to help you to get out of this rut. So go ahead, take the quiz and get to work. See you on the other side.